This afternoon's game was heartbreaking for the Devils as they squandered a four-goal lead in the last 20 minutes of play to end up losing to the Florida Panthers 7-6 in overtime. There were some new and returning faces on the ice today as Andrew Hammond made his debut in the black and red sweater in the crease and Yannick Kuokinen and Andreas Janssen made their returns after injury. It was exciting to see them all on the ice and to see both Kuokinen and Janssen record points in this matchup, but ultimately it just was not enough this time. In the first period, the Devils got out to a great start, scoring twice in the first 3 minutes and 42 seconds of the period with goals from Sharon Govich and Hughes. These two goals were scored only 17 seconds apart, and this was the first of three goals for Sharon Govich as he recorded his first career hat trick. Though that achievement does ultimately feel overshadowed by this loss, it nevertheless was a career landmark for him and showcased just how solid of a player he really is on this squad. Before the first period ends, we see a goal from Ben Sherratt, one of the new acquisitions from the Panthers from this trade deadline, and we end the first 20 minutes of play 2-1 in favor of the Devils. The second period was a flurry of scoring as we see goals from Sharon Govich and Kuokinen just 45 seconds apart, and a goal from Gudas bringing the Panthers back into the scoring race. Then two more goals from the Devils thereafter with another from Sharon Govich and one from Janssen. It looked like the game was really just done at this point as the Devils headed into the last period up 6-2. to two. A truly remarkable lead, especially against a team that is currently ranked second in all of the NHL just behind the Colorado Avalanche and is a favorite for the Stanley Cup. But those accolades did truly show through in this period as the Panthers achieved the near impossible and brought this one into overtime. Thanks to goals from Montour, Forsling, and two goals from Alexander Barkov, we head into sudden death tied at six apiece. Ultimately, it is Forsling who wins this one for the visiting team and brings the two points to the Panthers. There was so much good that came from the Jersey team today, though, as they were skating quickly, making big plays, and finding the backdoor shots that did put them up by so many goals, especially against a team that has such a powerful offensive output. Their defense did look pretty solid too, but ultimately, two late power plays gave the Panthers the juice they needed to come back into this one and ultimately walk away with the win. The Panthers did not score on either of those power plays, but they did score just after, so it felt like those power plays gave them the energy and the juice they needed to get back into this one and to claw their way to the win. The Devils will have a chance at redemption tomorrow against a big rival as they host the Islanders at 4 p.m. at the Prudential Center. I will be there along with Tyler Mooney for the Islanders, but until then, for WFUV Sports, I'm Samantha Bohr.